Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and, um, I thought I'd go ahead and just on a whim, uh, <clears throat> go here on, uh, D&D &D Beyond, um, and create a, create a bard character, but, uh, it's, again, I'm doing this totally on a whim, so I don't really, um, I don't really care, I mean, I'm not a, in the D&D &D universe, I'm not a real big bard person, but it just kind of occurred to me since, um, <clears throat> I listen to so much music, like, hmm, I wonder what a, I wonder what kind of bard I could create, you know, kind of, kind of centered around this. So, but as you probably expect, uh, I am going to have some music in the background, though. Um, this time around, it's going to be Gen Taiga, uh, Lunar Nocturnes, Isodoric Incantations. So it's, um, it's Dungeon Synth, or technically it's Dungeon Synth, but, um, sometimes I get, I get Terminator vibes from it, too. That kind of music, or I guess a uh, vaporwave. So, you know, kind of a, I guess kind of a cross between dungeon synth and vaporwave. But, yeah, let me go ahead and get that fired up. And um, I forgot to mention, too, that uh, I did, yesterday, I did try making an attempt at creating a, creating a bard, but it just, I, I had to abort it partway in because I got stuck. For lack of a better word. So. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And then just gonna oh 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 back up. Um So why is it not working? All right, something's wrong here. Might have to open up a few scripts. Okay, we're we're coming up against some resistance here. I guess I don't quite know know this uh, website well enough. Okay, let's try that again. Create a character. Show in the help text, ideal for beginners. Click a standard. Okay, so. Why does it feel like I'm skipping something? Well, apparently not. Here, let me out. Okay, so it's still showing. So, like yesterday, just gonna call him. Joe Bob the Bard. homebrew, critical role, um, even though I'm not, I think I saw maybe the pilot episode of Rick and Morty, it goes over my head, uh, non-core, optional class features, customize your origin, turn them all on, um, I'll leave it at, a uh, story-based character progression, I'll leave it at that, that's a milestone, And yes, they're remaining fixed. I am no love for RNG. But yeah, like, I mean, this is, a, this is the first time I've ever seen this, and hold on, I don't, 
Yeah, you guys can't see the pop-ups. I keep forgetting about them, but this is uh, this is one of the things that was uh, or excuse me, this is pretty much what made me abandon uh, my attempt yesterday. But I don't know if you can see that. Okay, whoa, how about that? You can. But yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, it's, it's the first time I've ever seen that, seen a uh, milestone. But again, it's uh, it's story based. So it basically you're getting achievement points. At least that's how I'm understanding it. Okay, I gotta, I gotta turn it up a bit. Seems pretty quiet. Ah, uh, choose race. And like yesterday, uh, it's going to be half orc since I don't like to follow the herd. Turning off the legacy stuff. Wait, what did it do? Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I, I... Most of these races, or a good chunk of these races go over my head. So... And then, um... Like usual, I picked a half-orc. Although it doesn't really seem like a, a bard-friendly race, but like I said before, I don't like to follow the herd. They're um I went on a went on a website yesterday and um they're considered one of the least popular races. Alright, I'm uh I'm sound checking right now. Nope. An intimidating bard, who would have thunk it? Going with them anyway. What's the orange man? Once again, I'm not a, I'm a melee guy, so I'm not much of a spellcaster. These spell slots you have to cast your card. And like I said, this is one of the reasons why right here. In order to get your spells back, you have to do a long rest, so... At least in my mind, spells in this game are too awesome to use. Uh. And like I said on my on yesterday's attempt, um, I'm not a charisma kind of player. I'm more uh, intelligence and wisdom. So. I've seen this ritual casting. Spell casting focus. I wonder if they mean uh, I don't have to have a. Uh, for when I want to cast a spell, I can you know as I, as it probably shows here, 
I can use, you know, just use an instrument instead of, instead of uh, a spell requiring diamond dust that's worth 5,000 gold pieces, you know, that kind of thing. You know, the kind of thing you'd have to, like, go on a separate quest for. You know, you gotta, you gotta go on in order to, in order to get to material acquire, in order to get to material components and cast a fireball, you have to go defeat Tiamat. That kind of shit. Bardic inspiration. Oh. To choose one creature. Out of your one bardic inspiration die. Ten minutes. And I suppose I can only do this once per long rest. Equal to your charisma. Yup. And, um, for character creation, I will be doing standard array. So, that means the highest, the highest of my, my charisma can be is 15. I think the modifier there is, like, uh, 2. Yeah, so, that's it. 2. And you get them back when you do a long rest. So, once again, too awesome to use. Alright, um, the window is going to look kind of wonky here for a moment. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, making an adjustment. I'm here I'm gonna I'm gonna pull something else up because I've got a feeling that I'll be saying this a lot if I can find it Almost done, almost done. Okay, so, sorry about this. Uh, I'm kind of jammed up at the moment. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. But, uh, again, I'm probably going to be saying this a lot. So, this is called, uh... So... Kind of like what I said a few moments ago. You know, I'm only going to have two uses of that Bardic Inspiration. But I can only do it once per long rest. It means I got to sleep for eight hours after I've expended those two charges. So what's gonna end up happening now is I probably won't be using them at all, unless uh, unless the right situation's like staring at me like blatantly in the face or something, you know, blatantly obvious. So. The 
Bardic Inspiration. Okay, D8 at 5th level, so when I live that long, D10 at 10th level. Um, I don't even know what that is. Starting a second level, you're gonna have your proficiency bonus. I think it starts at plus two. So, that means, uh, plus one to basically all ability checks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. Soothing music during a short rest. Hit point. You're getting hit points in the end. Oh, uh. that's it, huh? Just one. Can't hit points at the end of a short rest. Spending one or more hit dice. Uh, I might have to look into this a little more. Hit dice. Is that equal to your current level? Bar College. Okay. This is where you choose your specialization. Choose two of your skill version. Alright, what was that other one? Bar College. Okay. So... I'll probably start this guy at third level. Okay, ten, fourth. You can you can either improve an ability score by two, two abilities by one, or you can um, yeah, you can you can choose a feat. Okay, okay, but you gotta be fifth level to do this. I was about to say. I was, good thing they added that in there, otherwise, I probably wouldn't be using it at all then. Counter charm. Of course, you gotta wait. You gotta be fifth level for this, and you gotta be sixth for this one here. No, it's a words of art, it's a reminder. Until you end your next turn, or in the time you know. Any friendly creatures within 30 feet of you have advantage on saving throws. Oh. <laughs> Superior inspiration. Oh. Of course, you gotta be 20th level for this. Choose any three, three. Yep, here's where I got stuck. But, um, I, I found a workaround, but, of course, I didn't find that workaround until all after of, uh, after I abandoned my attempt and had to lay down at 4.30 a.m., so. Like, well, too late. You plundered magical knowledge from what? Two spells from any class, including this one. level you can cast to show them the bard. Oh, it has to be spells. Okay. Magical secrets, 14th level. Same thing here. Two of any spell. But again, I think if I did, I guess, um, I guess if they had some kind of, if they had a, a long rest spell, like a, like a short rest spell or a long rest spell. I'd probably be looking for those. Okay, I gotta check OBS. Spells from any classes, okay. So, here we go. 
It's a bard. And like I said, here's where I got stuck. I gotta choose uh, three instruments, but the problem is, is uh, you guys can't see the uh, you guys can't see the drop down menu that just popped up. And um, I don't know what I can do to fix that. I don't know what I can do to fix it. The closest thing that I can think of is um. I'll go ahead and fire up this article, but I'm gonna be uh, I'm still gonna be uh, working underneath this article, and um, if there's an instrument that I that I don't know of, I'll come on this article and try to find it. But yeah, like I said, kind of a kind of kind of a weird workaround. But I'm also thinking because. His, the, this bard's lowest stat is probably going to be intelligence. Um, it's probably going to be a non-complicated instrument like a drum. Just something to pound on. And hold on, let me... So I'm going to look for a... It's woodwind, percussion. I'm looking for a hand drum. I think it might be the same thing as a tambourine, which, no, thank you. I ain't no hippie. Alright, so let me look up Tan Tan, if it's even in here. Have that now. They actually have this in the D and D world, huh? This instrument, two-person instrument. Yup. It's a. Oh God, the, the hurdy gurdy is very hard to explain. Um. It's. I mean, it. I want to say it's kind of like a violin. But instead of uh, instead of playing it with a bow, you're actually using a crank that it turns the uh, you're you're turning a crank that turns the 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 bow that rubs against the strings, and then um, I think there's also a keyboard aspect to a hurdy gurdy as well. You're um you know you're turning the crank you're turning the crank rubs the strings and at the same time you're pushing buttons to change the pitch on those strings, so. Love a challenge, yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty complicated instrument. Then, tan tan, there it is. A tan tan is a drum that is oblong, and narrow compared to a classic drum that's held on the knee. I guess I can go ahead and throw on a tan tan. Let's try that out. So we got tan tan. Drum. Okay, so um, War Kong, I guess. So we got War Kong. Let's get up. I would think that a, a war gong is a small handheld drum, not a big, you know, not a big massive monster, like the kind you probably see in like various, you know, movies and shows and whatnot. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this is what a war gong is, a small version.
a sack butt. Trombone. Sack butt. Sure don't explain much. Okay, so... So yeah, I'll go with these three. Uh, Tan Tan, Drum, and Wargong. Even though I don't really know what to do with them. And I get to choose a skill. Which again, I don't... Medicine and Perception. <laughs> yeah, persuasion, sure. Performance. And again, you guys can't see this, but uh, performance is a skill that measures uh, how well you perform. So... Otherwise, I don't... I don't really know what else to grab. Inside investigation, medicine, nature... Religions... Ah... Uh, I... Don't know. I guess uh, I'll go with insight. Um, insight and perception, which means um, I'll probably have to focus more on wisdom, and I have to look at some here. Right. I had a, I gotta set the album to loop. It's almost over. So performance, insight, and perception. Uh. So I guess my other stat is uh, what you call it, and then I gotta. I gotta go up here. I forgot. I gotta. I gotta change the level to four. Okay, Bard College. Which I have no idea what to pick, and I don't think you guys can see this pop up. But College of Valor, I think it's the, uh, it's the combat-oriented college. Choose two of your skull proficiencies. No, well, performance is definitely going to be one. And I guess perception. Well, like I said, this is... It's supposed, it's supposed to be, uh, I'm trying to make this guy a, a music-centered class with, uh, next to no knowledge of anything else. Has a bardic inspiration die. The weapon damage roll just made. Bardic. Okay. So I'm basically handing out dice to everybody. Ability score improvement. Um, just gonna go with the feet. Again, you guys probably won't be able to see this. Um, after alert, athlete, durable, grappler, healer, linguist, luckily, lucky mage slayer. Medium armor, mobile, moderately armor. Let's 
Savage attack. Warcaster? Um, I guess observant. I wouldn't want to pick the actor feet. I mean, he's an honest guy. So, oh, let me do something real quick. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot back up. Where's it at? So I gotta, I get to pick a feet. Okay, good. It saved everything. So once again, let me go back here. Let me uh, check the window real fast. All right, cool. So I don't have to adjust it. Um, actor. Oh, crazy man. Try and pass yourself off as a different person. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. I didn't know about this. I might be going with actor. Athlete. Two wheeler dungeon delver durable. Um Yeah, it's yeah, I'm not really inspired. Oh, temporary hit points. Um, key in mind. Nope, 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 nope. He ain't, he ain't got no photographic memory. Martial adept. Yeah. Prodigy. I was wondering about this one. The number of spells that you can cast as rituals. These spells are written in a ritual book. You must have, which must have a hand. Yeah, skilled. I think this is where you get yeah three extra. Can't do that one. But yeah, looks like uh, I'll be going with actor. Yep. Maybe the speech of another person. So, for me to get this, then I have to get up. You. Yeah. Uh, no. So, but yeah. Um, so, choose a beat, actor. There we go. got that so I think we're I think we're all set on that so and like I said earlier I'm gonna be going with standard array I don't like RNG so so and you can't you won't be able to I don't think you'll be able to see them yeah you won't be able you won't be able to see the drop-down menus So, but yeah, charisma. So that's.
that's gonna have so that's gonna have to be 16 and then uh, my other two skills was uh so wisdom's gonna be 14 um intelligence no dumber than a box of rocks which means I'm gonna have to go back and check and make sure I don't have a I gotta make sure I don't have investigation in there okay so they're uh they're both wisdom so I can go with that one yep definitely not the sharpest knife in the drawer plus three yep so three bardic inspirations per day so oh goody background Joe Bob the Bard. Oh, uh, kind of wish you had a musician in here. Pirate, sage, sailor, soldier. I guess I'll have to go with the entertainer. This is what I'm mainly interested in right here. Your music raises their spirits. Like I said, this is all I'm interested in, just the music part. Okay, so as implied here, you don't have to be good at this entire paragraph. So like I said, this is all I care, this is all I'm into right here, just the music part. Yeah, um, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> on one hand, I, charisma is his highest stat, so persuasion is the one I'm looking at, but, and I'll have to explain a bit on persuasion, um, I know in, uh, in earlier, in earlier editions of D&D, &D, you're, um, how good of a speaker you were was actually determined by your intelligence, not your charisma. But it seems, uh, at least for 5th edition, um, they, uh, they flip-flopped it. Now it's, uh, now it's charisma and not intelligence, which, again, it, it doesn't make any sense. Because to me, it, a guy who's dumber than a box of rocks isn't gonna, you know, you know, not much of a, not much of a vocabulary there. You know, not many words to work with. person um i i'd probably say athletics then i think it's um i think, I think his strength was like 14 or 15 oh. oh i guess i get to add yet another instrument um a 
Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go on, brow on the browser here. I'm gonna look up an instrument called a Zalkun. Okay, so it kind of looks like a bagpipe then. Okay, it's um, it's a portable pump organ. So yeah, it's kind of like uh, kind of like bagpipes. So yeah, definitely not that one. I'm gonna look up uh, yarding. Oh, uh, not a loot. Okay, looking up uh, a thalar. Oh, so it's, it's basically a, so a Thalar is basically a recorder. Okay, so yeah, the, the Longhorn was just, uh, it's basically a longer version of, um, of the, uh, Whatever that other instrument. Oh, Thalar. Okay. It looks almost like it could be, it could be a clarinet. I might add this. Longhorn. Here, let me try out. Let me look at Songhorn. Looking at Songhorn right now. So, yeah. Um, Tantan? Uh, Tantan is actually a tambourine. Yeah, so let me, let me go over here. Yeah, and I picked it. I ain't seeing it here. Let me uh, let me type down talking. was a set of wooden carved oval open-ended bells your hammers are open-handed right, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to google it because there is no image of it apparently not okay so According to what I'm looking at right now, it kind of resembles a big xylophone. And that being the case, now that I think about it, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, yeah, um, talking to Keeper. I mean, that's something else for him to beat on. So, and. Got a disguise kit by popular demand. You can always find a place to perform. You receive free lodging and food of a modest or company. Okay, 
I'm hoping you guys see this, but this is, I guess a, a lot of people, when they create their characters, they completely bypass this part. With me, this is one of the most important parts of creating a character. I'm gonna take a drink. Okay, I am not seeing it. Um, on my other character, my um, my Mercy Monk, um, he has the haunted one background. Man, I just, I just flew down here to the bottom. Click, 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 like no problem. Here it's like, oh, but, but, I don't know, but, hmm. But. I could. I want to say this. It's pretty pick, pretty picky when it comes to music, so. Every situation. Not really sure. I guess, maybe that one. Know a story relevant to almost every situation, ideals, tradition, creativity. I like seeing the smiles of you. It's all that matters. I guess you can only pick one. <sighs> Not the word I'd use, beauty. But yeah, so I guess it could be a toss-up between that and uh, and this one. I'm surprised that's neutral. I figured that'd be good. Um, but as far as alignment goes. I'm thinking chaotic good, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> my instrument is my most treasured possession or nope. Someone stole my nope. I want to be famous, whatever it takes. Nope. Um. No. Henry Rollins is one of the is one of the big inspirations in my life, so well, I guess I can go with that. <laughs> this could all this could almost make me a stand-up comedian right here. <laughs> yes, definitely that one. <laughs> I think this this alone, this might actually uh make me do an overhaul, do an overhaul on the rest of this character. So, yeah, um, but race is still going to stay the same, class, um, that's still going to stay the same, I just need a, um, insight, go, go, go on insight, probably leave those the way they are, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change something on my OBS real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of construction work here. So, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in, and I don't think I did that right. Hold on. But yeah, this is what um, I, let me, uh, part of this, um, part of this page here has been cut off. I'm just trying to save some space, but I want to kind of do a quick testy testy. Okay, so you guys can see it. But I just started relying on this. So. So I'm gonna. So there's a. What's the lar? Buzzing sound, dry fibers inside on there, very simple. Right? Made them to give away to children. But yeah, it. That one little line in my background, it pretty much changed everything. Okay, that's that string instrument. Uh, no. So I gotta wait a moment for the rest of the instruments to pop up. And the sham is basically just like an oboe. So, I think I'll go ahead and make the Sham one of my other instruments. Um, definitely better than a Tan Tan. I wish they had a, like a medieval equivalent of a bass guitar. Or maybe even a double bass. Like a big old, you know, big old massive upright bass. Maybe one of those. Keep the drum war gone. over here so I'm and then the glar um, I said this uh, yesterday it's part trumpet part tuba okay and I gotta wait a moment the way the wiki works, um, on the right side of the page, I don't think you can see it. Wargong, there it is. Found it. 
where broad and heavy gongs made of metal. Okay, so yeah, it's not a portable gong then. That's what I originally had. Yeah, I guess a war gong is a big ol' sucker, so... Dulcimer. I was trying to explain this instrument yesterday, too. Just a bunch of strings stretched out over a flat board, and you beat on them with hammers. Nope. Not what I'm looking for, so let me back it up. And again, I gotta wait a moment. Zalkoon was the uh, portable pipe organ. So, I don't really know. I don't want to say pan flute. Yarding. So we got Sean, drum. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look up the difference between a loop and a liar. Surely it's gotta be in here. Could be a loot. Uh, let's look up liar. Same thing. So it's like a uh, loot and liar. It looks like they can be used interchangeably. That's what, okay, I see what they're talking about here. The middle green instrument here is the lyre. The one, the one left is the loop. That's the one I'd probably be interested in. The big old sucker. So I love me some bass. All right, there we go. So we got performance, inside, perception. Oh, what a difference a little piece of background makes. Then... And so now... Constitution down to eight. Um, I'm going to swap between uh, strength and intelligence. I'm going to make it make the intelligence 13. And this is something else I kind of like um, having strength and dexterity equal, uh, kind of balance between the two.
Intelligence is 13, Charisma is 16. So, potentially, we got ourselves a stand-up comedian right here, as well as a musician. And again, I forgot what a talking is. Oh, they got a mandolin in here. Oh, okay, so yeah, they're 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 small. They don't explain much. There we go. More instruments are starting to pop up on the right side of the page. Again, I don't think you guys can see it. Magical. Mo oh, DOS loot. Never mind. It's got to be a normal one. Sucker is huge. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, a band door. But uh, I don't think it's in here though. Yeah. It ain't there, so let me uh, look up talking again. Oh, that's right, this is, uh... Oh, I made a Pandar. Oh, okay, I see how they did this. Um, a talking. It's, uh... It's almost like a xylophone, except... Instead of being, uh, laid down... Instead of the, uh, the wooden bars being laid down, they're actually dangling. Um, like, you know, like hanging from a clothesline, if you could picture that. So, just to say, I'm not a fan. I don't want to spend all morning trying to trying to find that last instrument. So I guess I get to be a hippie. So yeah, um, just this one thing alone made me pretty, maybe nearly all, or pretty much had me overhaul this whole character. Probably going to be chaotic good. Uh, lifestyle. Modest. And then the rest of this, I ain't going to worry about. Because, um, despite all the effort I'm putting into this character, he's still not, um, this... This is going to be the kind of character I can't be fully invested in. 
starting equipment. For a club. Entertainer's pack. A disguise. Two cases for maps and scrolls. Set up on clothes. Bottle of ink. I already picked a loot up there. <laughs> I guess a love letter. Guess I got a secret admirer. And the rest of these I ain't gonna worry about, so. Joe Bob the Bard. Billy Bob and Joe Bob. But, but like I said, sorry to sound like a broken record, but he's not a. The Bard's not going to be a character that I'm fully invested in. Um, for the most part, it was just a what if. Something I want to create for fun. So, it isn't like, it isn't like my monk. Um, I kind of take him seriously. So I, I've concocted, I've concocted at least the skeleton of a backstory on him. So, but like I said, I, I take it him pretty seriously, but the bard, not much. So, but otherwise, that's it. Um, that was all I wanted to do this morning. So I'll just go ahead and call it good here. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.